Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. We are now dealing a topic wave optics where our subtopic is interference. Interference is say a combination of the two waves. We will go into the details at a little later stage. But what happens when the two waves are combined together? What will be their resultant amplitude and what will be their resultant intensity is the point of this video lesson. So let us say consider the first wave. The particles oscillating are having a displacement y1 equal to a1 sin omega t. The second wave y2 equal to a2 sin omega t plus phi. Assuming that these two waves are having a phase difference of phi. When these two waves are combined, y resultant will be y1 plus y2. So it will be a1 sin omega t a2 sin omega t plus phi. We will talk about what happens, how do the resultant of these two waves will appear like at a later stage. But as these two waves are combined together, where the resultant amplitude of these two waves will be, a resultant will be root of a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 cos phi, just like a vector addition. This is the resultant of the two waves. So it is obvious that if the two waves are having a phase difference of say 0, that means if the two waves are in same phase, as the time changes, the phase will be changing. At a certain instant, they will become both of them in same phase. Then A resultant will become root of A1 square plus A2 square plus 2 A1 A2 cos 0. That's equal to 1. That is square root of a1 plus a2 whole square. Root and square will cancel. So it will become a1 plus a2. This is the maximum possible amplitude. If the two waves are having a phase difference of say 180 degree, they are in opposite phase. Then the a resultant will become root of a1 square plus a2 square plus 2 a1 a2 cos 180. Cos 180 is minus 1, therefore it becomes root of a1 square plus a2 square minus 2 a1 a2. That is a1 minus a2 whole square, root and square will cancel. So it becomes a1 minus a2. That's the minimum value. So it's very clear that the ratio of amplitude maximum of the resultant to the amplitude minimum will be a1 plus a2 by a1 minus a2 whole square. That is in terms of amplitude. Suppose we are interested in learning about intensity of that waves because that's also another best measure to under understand. We know that intensity is directly proportional to square of an amplitude. So what we can uh, say is from this equation if I square that equation a resultant square will be a1 square plus a2 square plus 2 a1 a2 cos phi. Instead of a resultant square I can write i resultant because Square of amplitude is directly proportional to intensity. Proportionality constant can be cancelled from both the sides. So, I1 plus I2 plus 2 root I1 I2 cos phi is the formula that I can write. Again, if phi is 0, that is they are in the same phase, I can write I resultant as I1 plus I2 plus 2 root i1 i2 that is root i1 plus root i2 whole square. Similarly, 
if the two waves are in opposite phase, phase difference is 180, I can write I resultant as I1 plus I2 plus 2 root I1 I2 cos 180, that's minus 1. So resultant will become root I1 minus root I2 whole square. So I can say maximum intensity of the resultant two waves with respect to the minimum intensity is root i1 plus root i2 by root i1 minus root i2 whole square and that's the way that we can express we can also say if you put the kind of a square from this equation if i say amplitude maximum square by amplitude minimum square equal to if I'm just uh, uh, say amplitude maximum to amplitude minimum is just a1 plus a2 by a1 minus a2 there's no square here now if I put a square it becomes a1 plus a2 by a1 minus i2 whole square so I can also express i maximum to i minimum in terms of amplitude as a1 plus a2 by a1 minus a2 whole square that's how we can express maximum and minimum amplitudes which are further going to cause bright and dark spots in our interference pattern thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you